Hello everyone. In this video we will connect AM Logic AM2301 temperature and humidity sensor to Node MCU board. Using DHT library we will retrieve sensor data and present it with built-in web server for Node MCU. Link for code is in the description of this video. Also I will not go into details of setting up Wi-Fi. For more detailed instructions please see first video in this series which is also linked in the description. AM2301 is temperature and humidity sensor from DHT sensors family. In DHT naming scheme it's DHT21 type of sensor. Operating voltage is from 3 to 5 volts so you can power it either from 3.3 volts or 5 volts. It has 3 wires, red is for positive voltage connection, black for ground and yellow is data pin. It comes in plastic casing and has plain wires with stripped ends. So in order to easily connect it to node MCU pins I soldered standard male to female wires to each end of wires from sensor. So in this example I will connect red wire to 3.3 volt pin on node MCU board, black wire to GND or ground pin and yellow wire to D5 pin. And that's all for hardware setup. Now let's go through code. In order to access AM2301 sensor and get data from it we need to install DHT library. So in Arduino IDE click on tools, manage libraries and in search box type DHT. Find DHT sensor library by Adafruit. I had troubles using versions of this library above 1.2.3 so I always install 1.2.3 version of this library. I suggest you do the same. From drop down list select 1.2.3 version and click install. With install DHT library we can write the code. As in previous examples we have includes for Wi-Fi and web server functionality. For more detailed instructions for Wi-Fi setup please check my previous videos. Next we include DHT library for our sensor. When we declare DHT type of object we need two arguments. First is the type of DHT sensor. This sensor I'm using is of type DHT21 but if you have some other like DHT11 or DHT22 just change this line of code to match your sensor type. Second argument is pin on which data wire of the sensor is connected. We connected it to D5 pin which is GPIO pin number 14. And now we declare DHT type of object simply named DHT and feed it with arguments of DHT type and pin number we just declared. Also we declare two global float variables temperature and humidity in which we will store readings from sensor later in the code. As it's recommended that interval between readings from sensor are at least two seconds we declare counter here which will serve for time tracking. We will set up node MCU to read values from sensor every five seconds and store it in global variables temperature and humidity we just declared. Next we declare data for Wi-Fi connection. It's pretty straightforward, just make sure you modify data to match your network settings. I always configure Node MCU in static IP mode so I can always connect on the same IP address. As we will read data from sensor with built in web server we need to declare web server object. Now we come to setup function. As in previous videos we set up Wi Fi connection with data we declared earlier. Next we need to start web server. Here we also define web server handles. As we have two values from sensor, temperature and humidity, we declare two functions, one for each value. First will be get temperature, which will return just temperature reading, and the other will be get humidity, which will return humidity reading. Functions which will handle those returns, we name handle get temperature and handle get humidity, and we declare them later in the code. And finally we call begin method on DHT object to start up the sensor. As always it's good practice to put a little delay at the end of setup functions which is 2 seconds in this example. Next we come to loop function. First we call handle client method on server object which checks for incoming client requests. If there is any client request and it matches web server handles we defined earlier in setup function server object will call designated function. Here we set a little delay of 50 milliseconds for sake of stability. 
Now we increment our counter and in if statement check if counter has reached value of 100. If that is the case, we call read sensor values function, which will read values from our DHT sensor and save those in global variables, temperature and humidity. This function we will see later in the code. Coupled with delay of 50 milliseconds, 100 counts will result in about 5 seconds interval between reading from the sensor, which is just fine because it's recommended that delay between readings from DHT sensor are at least 2 seconds. You can even increase this interval to 10 or more seconds by increasing the needed counter value to 200 or more. One note here, because we start to count from 0, you will not get first reading for at least 5 seconds after plugging power to node MCU, which is fine because sensor needs time to run in upon starting up. Now we come to our web handles functions. We designated these functions earlier in setup function to be executed when client requests specific URL. When we request get temperature URL on IP of our node MCU, it will call handle get temperature function and call send method on server object, which will simply return string representation of global variable temperature. Almost same for get humidity URL, handle get humidity function will be executed and it will return global variable humidity in string format. First two arguments of send method on server objects are 200 for HTTP status and text HTML argument which indicates to client browser to just render incoming data as plain text or HTML. And finally we come to read sensor values function which actually reads sensor values and stores them in global variables. First we define local variables of float type T for temperature and H for humidity. Then we call read temperature and read humidity methods on DHT object and save return data to our local variables. Now we check if values are numeric to avoid any errors in reading process from sensor. And if they are, we then assign new values we just got from sensor to our global variables, temperature and humidity. And that's it. From here you can use those values to build more complex projects or use them on other devices. Because server object returns those values as string, if you need to perform numerical operations, you can always cast those values to float type and use them in your calculations. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching.